Hi, my name is Carl Stanley, and thank you for coming along to this session. So now we're going to discuss transforming, importing, and analyzing some uh, data into BizDesign, and I'll show you how to auto-generate um, a view for um, gathering insights about what we've, just, what we've just imported. So let's have a look at some theory first. So as I said, a little theory on a meta meta model. Okay, so let me just show you what I mean. Meta, metadata, data about data. So who has worked with Active Directory or something like that or a security system? Basically, me as a user has an object called a user object. Okay, that's a that's a logical represent representation of physically me and my attributes. This is meta information, a schema of info. All of these files that we're looking at are all schemas of information, metadata. I operate at the meta layer so that we can get insights really fast. Now, Archimate is a meta model, is a is a modeling language on how you express architecture. Here are all the objects. I'll give you this file. At each layer, so you'll notice the strategy layer, business layer, application technology layer, they all connect. How do we connect those dots? Glad you asked. <laughs> Don't worry about the, the version of Archimate. The viewpoints are the same. They might have renamed them a little bit. But here are all of the different viewpoints of your house. So if you take perspective from a stakeholder's point of view who's interested in a project, they want to do an implementation and migration viewpoint which means they have to have all of these things. Okay, so what I'm doing is showing you the meta model. Now, under the covers, what we're doing is here are those, those two PDFs. Now, what I want to show you is this little import. So we've taken this cleanup information and we've put it into a, a file, basically, that we're going to use to put into those viewpoints. And then we're going to import them. So let me show you this file, the biz design import. All right. You'll notice here are all of the different objects that correspond to that that those Archimate posters, right? So I've just tagged them with that information. So this is a real case study. Now, I've also, here's your source, here's your target, here's the relationship between those source application functions and those data objects, accesses of those data objects, what are their names? I've actually put that into what Biz Design wants to see. So here's application function, element, name. Here's a data, data object, name. And here's how they're related in a cross table, cross-reference cross table. Let me show you how that works in biz design. So, and then I'll run the procedure. <laughs> Model package, right-click, new, Connection model, so it just plays on the model name, but a new connection model, okay? Basically, all that's doing is creating one of these. An Excel worksheet with a connection. So what I've done is I've created a connection of view. <laughs> so what you do is you grab this little guy, you drag it onto the palette, and then it gives you a name of a worksheet, right? You see how there's different icons here? And ones are, ones are, are uh, matrix and others are just tables. Those names correspond to these worksheets. Let me say that again. They correspond to these worksheets. And then what you do is you map one of these little bad boys, ha, huh? onto this palette, you actually draw the relationships 
so that when you run the import, it goes and grabs them all. So I've done that earlier, uh, basically. And all that's happening here is you grab the um, spreadsheet, you grab the, you, you create a definition. We haven't actually given it a spreadsheet yet. We haven't actually given it a tab. We're just telling what it, telling it what it's going to look like on the tab. Look for when it hits the tab on the spreadsheet. So then you grab the objects that you want that you want to map. So in this case, I want to map business actor to that column. See that B column B in the spreadsheet. So I did that column B in the spreadsheet. All right, you see as business act an element. And then if you go back to business on, element name, object type. All right, you can also pick up attributes of a business actor, like documentation of the business actor, and then map that to a column. So you can get real creative on how you want to put these spreadsheets together and then away they go. So that is how you connect up those. Now feel free through questions to ask me how to, to do that more specifically, but I just wanted to show you that as an overview. Now, once you've set up all of your tabs, okay, and you, get to your connection view, right? Click on this thing. You get a little button that says import. Sweet. Import. No. Pick the folder you want, pick the file you want. Open. Okay. And then, hey presto, what we've baked earlier, don't forget you get these spreadsheets. Import finished. There's the procedure. Boom, they're all in there. Sweet. And also, the relations are in there. <laughs> now let me show you how to do the relations. Remember how we talked about data object, or application function data object? You can do it in a batch, which is really cool, which is really easy. You can do it via the spreadsheet, which I've shown you where there's a relation tab, and you can also, do this, home, cross-reference table, cross mod, Ooh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Let me go there. Relations. Oops. In the model. You see how I've got from to via application component, application function, accesses, a application data object. Okay. And here you go. Creates a matrix. Ah, cool. And then what's cool is you can actually just you can actually just put a tick in a box and away you go. You can start creating relations on the fly. Awesome. So that was how you run and check your relationships between different objects. And let me show you if I can. So we've just ran the procedure. Now we're going to analyze. I'm going to show you how to do a quick auto generate. Now this is really cool because, right. Just say you wanted to know, you wanted to create, say we were looking at the general ledger. Update the general ledger, right? Right click, generate view from, and then it gives you an option to look at how many different relations and a depth. So you know about Facebook, friends of friends, me, center of the universe, second friend, third order, sixth order friends, out, out they go. You can do the same thing across your model. Auto generate a view. You can pick up different um, attributes, different types of relationships, and you get to pick 
which viewpoint you want to look at. Those viewpoints relate back to those models that we were talking about uh, on the Archimate poster. These are all viewpoints or views, right? So let's just go application cooperation view. Okay, hit OK. And then hey presto, bang, there it is. Auto generated between two objects. Now that can go huge, right? That can go way out there, um, depending on how much you, you put in. So this is just the import stuff. Now, once you've got it all in there, you can start creating your own models. Okay, so I've shown you how to do that in the Archie video. It's the same here. Right, so I encourage you to go and have a look at that. I have a few different ones. So, mindset, tool set, knowledge set, mindset, knowledge set, tool set. Some at the high level conceptual, some of the logical layer courses and at the procedural level courses. This is a procedural level course. So, I've done this one a little bit fast because I don't want to you know, waffle on too long, okay? There's lots to learn, lots more to learn, but I've given you a import, which is quite valuable, well worth the price of admission. So thank you for coming along and a little bit of motivation. I'll do a stand up and we'll have a conclusion. But feel free to ask me more questions. Okay, thanks for coming along this far. Okay, bye.